Thank you. Thank you to each of our worship leaders for your powerful and spirit filled and prayerful, I might add, um, opening to our worship this morning. It is such a blessing to know that he reigns forever. Uh, allow me to open up just by saying that how I loved and how I was intrigued because I'm going to come to you from Psalm 16 verses 8 through 11 uh, because verse 8 opens it up with me as we began to study about where I started to, to indicate where is your faith and then uh, the Holy Spirit as I continued to read the text uh, uh, it allowed me to go back and see how we must maintain our eyes on Jesus. So verse 8 of this text opens up by saying, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. Now I began, if you're like me, I asked myself, why, why, why do I need to keep my eyes on the Lord? Uh, it suggests that my mind, my mind is made up, uh, my heart is fixed, and I am focused on the one who created me in his image. Uh, so where is your focus this morning? Thus I must remain focused on the maker and the creator of uh, of every good and perfect gift uh, because he is mighty and he is the giver of every good and perfect gift. Things happen when we remain focused on Christ. Things happen when we remain focused on that sacri the sacrificial lamb. Consequently, uh, we began to dig deeper in the text. We see uh, the results of keeping our eyes on the Lord. So this morning, I just want to uh, share with you, just let us take a look at what, what things happen uh, when we uh, keep our focus on, on Christ Jesus. So as you ponder in your heart and in your mind, where is your focus? Allow these words to share, to open up perhaps a new window for you. Verse verse one ver in in our in our uh, first uh, uh, statement it says that in keeping our eyes focused on Jesus we know that He is our strength. Uh, with Him at my right hand I will not be shaken. The Word tells us in Psalm sixty one and three, for instance, uh, for You have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. So we should keep our, we should keep our focus on Christ. Also, we see that, uh, uh, that, that there is strength in our lives as we even pondered and went to the text of Psalms 28 and verse 7 that says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. Uh, my heart trusts in him and he helps me. Uh, when we keep our eyes focused on the Lord. Uh, he is always with us, regardless of the battles we may be facing. Uh, he is our strength. Uh, with him by our side, uh, we will not be shaken. We can rest in complete assurance that he is with us in all situations, even, even in our thought life. He is with us. Have you ever had something come uh, uh, into your mind uh, that caused you to fear, uh, to become frustrated, to have anxiety attacks, or even get angry? Uh, these things are not from the Lord, I have to tell you. These are things that the enemy uses um, 
uh, as a, a, stra a strategy to shake us, to shake us up and to sh keep our eyes off Jesus. You see, Satan knows that if we take our focus, take our focus off of the things of the Lord, then our eyes will be focused on what he has uh, distracted us to see. Uh, so we must remain focused. So I ask you again this morning, uh, uh, where, 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 where is your focus this morning? Uh, the Lord uh, says that uh, we should focus on whatever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, uh, whatsoever things are, are good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, Think on these things, those things which we have both learned uh, and received and heard and seen in me. Do and the, and the God of peace shall be with you. Uh, where is your focus? That came from Philippians 4, 8 through 9. When we focus our eyes and think on him and think on Christ, we have peace, friends. We have peace. We have joy and we will not be shaken. Uh, then, of course, uh, we know that he is our strength. Uh, that's our number one reason to remain focused. He is our strength. And then it tells us that he gives us joy. He gives us joy and he is faithful. Uh, verse nine of our text uh, states it this way. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the realms of the dead, nor will you let your faithful one see decay. So where is your focus this morning? Where is your focus? And as we, we saw in Philippians, uh, we will have joy and peace and we can rest when our eyes are focused uh, on God. Uh, he takes delight in us and views us as his perfect and most beautiful creation. He is faithful to us and is always, always with us. So where is, where, where is is your focus this morning. Uh, we see his goodness. For instance, we see his goodness in Zephaniah 3 and 17 that reads, the Lord your God is with you. Uh, the mighty warrior who saves, he will take great delight in you. In his love, he will no longer rebuke you, but will rejoice over you with singing. Where is your focus this morning? Where is your your focus. I'm going to keep my eyes on Christ. Uh, this, this beautiful and glorious time with the Lord is what the enemy wants to steal from you. So if you lose focus, you can be guaranteed that the enemy will steal your peace. The enemy will steal your joy. The enemy will steal your relationships when you lose focus on Christ. Now, how, how can we, how can you and I stay in this place of perfect peace, uh, a place where you have lasting joy, no matter your situation? The answer is simply by putting your focus on him. He gives us, uh, then, then not only should we remain focused because he gives us strength, and not only should we remain focused because there is joy, but we should remain focused because he gives us direction and all eternal pleasures. You make known to me the path of life, he says. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal, eternal pleasures at your right hand. What? a way to end this passage by keeping our eyes on the Lord. We can know the path of life. Uh, we are filled with joy and his eternal pleasures. No wonder the enemy would love for us to take our eyes off the Lord. You see, we have uh, benefits in staying focused. There are great benefits in staying focused on Christ Jesus. Church, church, I ask 
the question again, where is, where is your focus this morning? My prayer for us today is that we turn our eyes and our focus to Jesus Christ, um, the one who was raised from the dead, uh, that we can combat and stand against anything or anyone, anyone that the enemy of this world uh, tries to use to distract us. So where is your focus? Now, I pray, I pray that uh, uh, we remember the Lord's protection and his love for you. As we depart from this virtual gathering this morning, I ask you to examine yourself and then focus Focus on the words of the text that you've heard read. Uh, uh, this is Christ's promises, promise to us this morning. This is what Holy Spirit will not only reveal, but give you when your eyes are on Christ Jesus, who is our Redeemer, who is our Savior, who is our joy in the morning, who is uh, the one who said that he will wipe away all tears from our eyes, who is the one that declares that he is the same yesterday, today, and will be for tomorrow. Uh, first church, first church, uh, where is your focus this morning? I want to end uh, this uh, message this morning because uh, Psalms 91 came to my heart and in my spirit as I conclude this message this morning because this helped me this past week uh, to get my focus only on Jesus Christ. And so for that reason, I want to share with you Psalms 91 that reads this way. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler snares and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you you with his feathers and, and under his wings you will find refuge in his faithfulness will be your shield and your your shield and your rampart you will not fear uh, the terror by night nor the arrow that flies by day. Um, church, where is your focus this morning? Uh, my focus is on Jesus Christ. Uh, my focus this morning is on the joy of the Lord. Uh, my focus this morning is in Christ Jesus. Uh, uh, you will not fear the terror by night, uh, nor the arrow that flies by day, uh, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness. Uh, nor the plague uh, that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, uh, 10,000 at your right hand, uh, but it will not come near you. Uh, you will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. Uh, I tell you Psalms 91 and Psalms 16 uh, verses 8 through 11 uh, gave me strength uh, this week. Uh, it gave me uh, joy this week. Uh, it gave me a sense of direction this week. Uh, if you say the Lord is my refuge uh, and you make the most high your dwelling place, uh, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, uh, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you uh, in all your ways. Uh, they will lift uh, you up in their hands um, uh, so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. Uh, thank you, Jesus, for Psalm 16. 
16 and for Psalms 91, you will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent because he, 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 who, who is he? Jesus loves you, says the Lord, and I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life. I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. So what do you say this morning? Where is your focus? My, my focus this morning goes back to Psalm 16 and verse 8. I will keep, I will keep my eyes always focused uh, on uh, Jesus Christ. Will you focus this morning on Jesus Christ or will you focus on uh, man and will you focus on the things that are uh, thrown against you? Uh, will you focus on the negative things that are being said? Uh, will you focus on the goodness of God? Uh, will you focus only on the love of Jesus Christ? Christ? Uh, will you focus on the fact that you believe and you have faith uh, that he died for you and rose again uh, so that we might have life and have life more abundantly? Where is your focus this morning? Where is your focus? I tell you as Mr. Perry and the music ministry comes, Jesus, Jesus, my focus is on him. Jesus, the joy of my life. Jesus, my focus, my focus is on the center because he is the center of my joy. Perhaps you want this morning to redirect your focus and know as Psalm 16 tells us to keep our eyes focused on him.